Hi guys, so we're gonna attempt lead code 2653, which is the sliding subarray beauty, which is given an integer array nums co containing n integers, find the beauty of each subarray of size k. So the beauty is basically the x smallest integer in the array if it's negative or zero if there are fewer than x negative integers. So return an integer array containing n minus one n minus k plus one integers, which denote the beauty of the subarrays in order from the first index in the array. So let's take a look at the example here. So in this nums example, uh, the first subarray is this, second subarray is this, and third subarray, uh, sorry, second subarray is this, and the third subarray is this. And basically in the first subarray, the second smallest integer is negative one. The second subarray, the second smallest negative integer is negative two. And the third subarray, the second smallest integer is also negative two. So let's go to the diagram explanation first. So in the initial state, we're given this, and this represents the number of subarrays here, 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 and uh, x is basically the position, the x smallest subarray. So initially, we're gonna create a two data structures, which is a counters array, which is gonna be 50 values, because the negative 50 to 50 is a range of any nums i, so the negative values can be from negative 50 to negative 1. So in this case, what we're going to do is the first position is going to represent negative 50, the 49th and last position, which is basically the 50 positions, the 0th position is going to represent negative 50, the 49th position is going to represent negative 1. And answer in this case will be 3. But that's only because k is 3 and nums length equals to 5. So the formula to arrive at this is the length of nums minus k, which is 3, 5 minus 3, plus 1. So it will be 3. So this will work again if it was 5 and 2, which the answer will be, the, the length of answer will therefore be 4, because the length of nums is 5, minus k, which is 2, which is 3, plus 1, which is the length of answer, which is 4. Alright, got it? So now, once we got the prerequisite data structures, we're going to go to the algorithm. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the nums array, which is this one. And then we're going to update the counter array if the value is negative. So when we're at negative one, we're going to update the corresponding counter value. So in this case, the count, the, it will be the last value of counter, which is the 49th value. And then update the counter array if the value k behind is negative. So if k equals to three, we're at, um, we're at negative one we're gonna realize that the k value behind is actually out of range. And at negative three as well, it will be out of range. At negative two, the k value behind is one. So, but, it w but it's not negative, so we're not gonna update it. But when you get to three, we won't update this, but we'll have to update this because the value k behind is negative one. And therefore, we're gonna update the counter array at the 49th position to be decremented by one. From one, it'll become zero. And what we're effectively doing is we're using a counter array to keep track of the presence of negative values within each subarray. Now, what we're gonna do is at the i position, we're gonna skip it if the value is not at the end of a beautiful subarray. Why? Basically, if we are not gonna skip it, then we're gonna look through the counter array. And what is this is going to do is this is going to update the answer array um, to reflect the x smallest uh, negative integer and basically we're gonna skip it if it's not at the end of a beautiful subarray because we cannot um, calculate the x smallest integer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through the counter array and actually we're going to create the count variable first um, give me a second we're gonna create a count variable first and we're then gonna loop through the counter array, and then we're gonna update the count variable based on the counter array, counter array's values. So basically, um, if count is greater than or equals to x, so count the values in the counter array is gonna be the count of the act, the negative uh, integers within that beautiful subarray. And basically, we're gonna loop from start to the end. So we're gonna loop from the smallest. Uh, value in the counter array and then we're going to update the count variable based on the smallest value first and basically when it is greater than or equals to x and the reason is that if it's equal to x then it's the x position but it can also be greater than x 
because at a particular um, value within the counter array, there can be a huge number, which means a huge frequency of that negative integer. Therefore, it can exceed x. But in any case, it will still be the x smallest integer. So then we're going to update the appropriate position in the answers array, and then we're going to break it. And at the end, we're just going to return the answers array, and that will be the answer. So we're up to five and a half minutes. I hope you understood the algorithm. So we're going to try to implement it right now. And once we implement it, we're going to, um, you're going to hopefully understand it better. If you can also uh, pause the video and go ahead and try implementing it yourself. So answer, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a nums array. So we're going to do length of nums minus k plus one. Remember, because it's, if it's a length of five minus three plus one, that'll give me three again. And that's the correct answer. And this will work for any, you can try, this formula will work for other uh, examples as well. Five minus two plus one is four. Um, in this case, six minus two plus one is five. Um, which is the length of this answer output. And counter will just be all the possible uh, negative values. So then we're now going to loop through uh, the length of nums and we're going to check if the nums i is less than zero and if it is then we're going to update nums i and remember negative one is represented by the 45th position 49th position which is the final position so we're going to add 50 negative 50 corresponds to the zero position so negative 50 plus 50 is zero negative one plus 50 is 49 so we're going to increment that by one now if i minus k is greater than or equal to zero so it's not out of range and the nums i minus k is less than zero then we're going to check that as well Sorry. Okay, and then and we're, uh, and we're going to decrement it because it's not outside of the range of that beautiful summary. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check if it's at the end of a beautiful subarray. If it's not, then we're not. We're going to skip it basically. So uh, if i minus k plus one uh, is lesser than zero, then we're going to continue. And the reason why this formula works is let's just say two and k was three, so two minus k is negative one. But if we add one, is zero, so it's uh, not lesser than zero. So we are gonna uh, check it. If not, it's before that range. So we're gonna create a count variable equals to zero. So for i in, and by the way, we're gonna make sure to indent it properly because this is gonna uh, happen at every end of every beautiful subarray within this for loop. So for and we're gonna use j for j in range fifty because that's the length of the counter. So for j in range 50, what we're going to do is we're going to check, we're going to add to counter, counter plus equals to, count plus equals to counter j. If count is greater than or equals to x, which is the x uh, smallest integer, then what we're going to do is we're going to update the corresponding answer, which is i minus j plus 1, uh, no, i minus k plus 1, sorry, uh, equals to count, and we're going to break. So, and at the end, we're just going to return answer, and let's try to run the code. Answer is not defined. And this is incorrect, because you're not supposed to add the count. You're supposed to add the uh, j plus 50. Basically, j is, oh sorry, is it minus 50? Yeah, it's minus 50. So, 49 minus 50 is uh, negative 1. Uh, 0 minus 50 is negative 50, which is absolutely correct. So now let's use example test cases and test it again. Oh. Looks correct to me. Uh, let's try submitting it. Alright, so that's basically how you attempt this uh, question. Hope you enjoyed the explanation. Have a good day, man. See you. Bye.